Hey, Jade here. Welcome back to Plasma Channel. I've received many requests for episode topics, and I gotta say, they're all pretty awesome. But one that stood out that I think you guys would benefit a lot from is how to make your own high voltage power supply. In fact, it's going to be really similar to the power source that I've been using this whole time. So get yourself ready for a five minute build. We're gonna build, ouch, ah. So our methodology is going to be quite simple and this build is going to be so easy that I don't know if we can even call it a build, <laughs> but we're going to need two things. We're going to need a high voltage transformer and a driver circuit to essentially drive that transformer. And that's gonna make us, oh, about five to 10,000 volts. This can be used to power voltage multipliers, create levitating water bridges, etch fractals into wood, and create St. Elmo's fire, amongst other things. And these open air discharges are a first look at what we're going to build today. All right, so let's go out and find our high voltage transformer first. If you know where to look, they're very cheap and very easy to find. So go out and buy yourself one of these. It's an ionic air cleaner. You can find them at thrift stores and I spent $3 on this guy. What we're after is the base, which has our transformer in it. We're gonna take it apart. Next, go to your local home improvement store and go into the lighting aisle. Find yourself a fluorescent tube ballast and grab a small one and that'll be our driver. Now that we have all of our supplies, let's dig in. These things are all pretty much built the same, but this is what we're after. All right, now we've got our transformer. And this one in particular is designed to output oh, about 10,000 volts or so. So I'll do my best to push it to those limits. That means the only thing left to do is to set up the driver, which is only gonna take a couple of seconds. Let's go ahead and take a look at your driver. It has two wires for 120 volt input, and these are the output wires. There's four of them, but we only need two, so it's going to take a little bit of time to figure out which two it is. But let's go ahead and attach a cord for 120 volt input. After some trial and error, you should be able to find the two wires that output 300 volts AC. Go ahead and attach those two wires to the two wires of the transformer, and voila, you've got yourself a high voltage power supply. You're looking at about 10 to 15,000 volts right here. Let's dim the lights and take a closer look. Now that is a fine arc right there, about an inch across, and you'll notice it looks very feathery, and that's because it's a very high frequency spark. In fact, it's so high in frequency that it's out of audible range, meaning we can't hear it. Now if you like what you saw today, leave a like, leave a comment, and feel free to ask a question. Don't forget to subscribe to Plasma Channel and check us out on Facebook. Don't forget to check out our other episodes. You stay classy.